think that ambition is, or being ambitious, is when you have a goal that's a little bit further, it's going to stretch you a little bit, and you're striving to achieve that. And I think it's kind of, the striving is both the like, prerequisite and also shows that your goal is big. So, so are you ambitious? Uh, yes, I would say I'm pretty ambitious. <laughs> and why do you think you're this way? Why do I think I'm ambitious? Yeah. Um, I think that it is probably a combination of nature and nurture. So I think we're probably evolutionarily evolved to want to succeed. The person who succeeded best in the tribe probably got the best share of everything. Um, and I think that it's probably when I was young, I was praised for succeeding and that, you know, creates a desire to do so. So describe an ambitious person that you know that isn't you. Isn't me. Um, so I have a very dear friend who was a journalist and decided that she wanted to be a world famous DJ um, and you know from New Zealand pursued that with absolute vigor and stayed up all night teaching herself how to DJ and, and producing music having had no kind of musical background and um, yeah, really, really worked hard at it and now two years later that's her full-time job, that's what she does and she is continuing to kind of move up the ranks of that but I feel like she was very ambitious to just kind of pluck this dream out of somewhere and go for it. So how do you feel about someone who does something like that? I, I admire her immensely. I think she's incredible. I think um, the way that she's worked is so admirable, you know, she's really put the time into doing it. I think the kind of gumption to get up and go and do something like that and not subscribe to um, having to succeed in probably the way her parents wanted her to or other people wanted her to and doing it for herself is incredible. It's great. Yeah. So how do you think ambition is viewed in New Zealand? Um, I was thinking about this one and I think it's interesting because, well I was thinking about my experience at school. and. I started school at quite a low decile primary school and a low decile intermediate and I was considered very geeky and nerdy because I did well in school and I was kind of not really accepted um, uh, by my peers for that and I was really lucky I had a lot of support from my parents and teachers and so it didn't, didn't really phase me that much and then I went to a different high school, not a, not a high school that was fed by either of my previous schools and it was a totally different experience for me. I felt really supported in being ambitious. Everybody there was had ambitions that they were working towards. And I think that's really like a really interesting contrast because most of my experience I would say is that New Zealand, well I've always felt really supported in being ambitious. But I know that tall poppy syndrome and all of those kinds of things get thrown around and I think there's probably different factions of society that view it different ways. 